Hello everybody, it's Alana here. And before I get started on this video, I wanted to thank all of you who have um, newly subscribed to my channel and those who are, have supported my channel for a very long time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, your patience. Life has been crazy, I'm sure for all of us. Life has been really crazy around here. So I have not really put out any videos, but um, I'm gonna try to remedy that. I'm gonna try to, you know, try to put out a couple of videos to keep, you know, help us stay entertained and have somewhere. I mean, YouTube is a perfect place to go and um, kind of get our minds off of things. So, you know, I'm gonna try to contribute to that. Okay, so. First item is what I got from a friend. I don't think I showed this to you all. Um, I don't think I've done a video since I've received it. If I have shown this to you, if I already featured this in a video, I'm sorry, but it's gorgeous. It probably doesn't hurt to see it again. This is a beautiful bag. This is um, Oxblood 1941 Saddle Bag. I have this in 1941 Saddle. I featured it already in a couple of videos, I believe. But um, you all have seen this before, right? Well, I love the other one so much. I wanted it in Oxblood also. And I love it. I love, look at this stitching. This is that uh, goldenrod stitching or honey colored stitching or whatever. The interior is red. Here's the bottom. Very, very nice. I purchased it from a friend, through a friend, I should say. Here it is, came with a dust bag if I'm not mistaken. It has this strap, like the other straps that I've shown before. The interior is red. I absolutely love these bags. These are the easiest crossbody bags to use, in my opinion. It has a front pocket. Now, um, did I show this already? I'm gonna go grab my, well, I'm gonna grab, I have it here. My 1941 Saddle 23. I almost didn't buy the Oxblood 1941 saddle because I already had this one, the 23, and it is Bordeaux and Oxblood. But um, my friend who purchased it, uh, who purchased it for me, um, I believe she has one of these too, and she said they're pretty different, and they definitely are. This is Bordeaux, the front is Bordeaux, and um, look how different they look. I held out for months because I did. I thought it was gonna to be too close to this, but it's not. The whole setup of the straps are a little different, but this Bordeaux is completely different. This gorgeous burnished Bordeaux still has red interior, and here's where the Oxblood is. See, same color. This is color block material though, and color, color block in color and material. So this is uh, pebble glove tan leather. Here's the back. The back, it's just, it's Bordeaux more places than it's Oxblood, than it is Oxblood. So I think I'm good. I think these two are different enough. Besides, the biggest, one of the biggest differences besides the uh, color is the fact that they have different hardware. Dark black copper and gold tone hardware. So yeah, here's a hang tag by the way on this one. Also, this one is, um. It's not, I mean, it's, it was a uh, python. It is python, I should say, Bordeaux, and then that python red, and it has a python strap. Let's see. And also the, the belt strap set up instead of the, uh, just the clips. So yeah, they're a lot different, a lot different. I think I still prefer that Bordeaux, but I absolutely love this one, it's so nice. So nice. And then of course, one of the biggest differences on this bag is the back pocket. And also, also um, this, the clasp, the little leather clasp. That's completely different. So it totally has a different look. So I was worried about nothing. Worried over nothing. And then keeping that Oxblood kind of vibe going on, <laughs> color going on. Here is the dinky that has been elusive to me for a very long time. I, ha I had this in the Saddle 23, this T-Rose. I love the black T-Rose the best. Of all the T-Rose, anything that coaches come out with, black is so pretty. I had this, I had the T-Rose Saddle 23 in the black, but um, I there were a number of reasons why I went ahead and um, passed it on to a friend. One of them is because there were T-Roses on the back and I can't, when I'm wearing something against me, um, I worried that the tea roses were gonna. I worried that the tea roses were going to like rub 
and maybe rub off that that probably wasn't it's probably an unfounded worry but um this right here has a plain back this is the dinky by the way the regular size dinky and it's smooth glove tan leather back here and um doesn't matter if this rubs against anything this is just going to get smoother and shinier back here so it doesn't really matter this is a full length pocket the tea roses are up here, so they shouldn't rub that much. Here is the side. Ox blood on one side, black on the other. One of the reasons why I love the black tea rose is because, um, well, for, look at all of those tea roses. Look at the colors. Black, there's uh, ox blood in the black. They're, um, they doubled up on the black here. This little fun Bordeaux, like glitter. Can you see that? That's glitter. It's so fun. And then, <clears throat> the um, I've mentioned on a previous video, one of the reasons why I keep letting go of my dinkies is because of the hardware. This flat bag, flat bags in general tend to hit the, um, whatever the clasp or turn lock or whatever there, and um, dark copper, what else? Silver is good and gold that I've seen do not look nearly as bruised and damaged uh, or scratched is another word, I guess. They don't look nearly as scratched with, uh, in, in gold or silver hardware, so um, I'm not worried about that with this bag. The top has, um, what you call it, tea roses, the bottom. So this is stunning. I was able to get this at 75, 70% uh, off, excuse me, not 75% off. Here is the, um, here is the chain. Looks gorgeous. I love that they actually put uh, that saddle colored chain the saddle leather intertwined in the chain i really like that it really it goes it matches it basically matches most of the uh every bag that they pair that with it matches some of the dinkies of course have different color they have matching matching leather there we go see that saddle color i believe that's 1941 saddle Oh no, yes, the gold looks so good. Here is the oxblood. Here is the oxblood color. Interior is super soft. And then, of course, the gold. Oh, by the way, the hardware on the, um, or the, not rings. The uh, pieces, the metal pieces that hold the, uh, the dinky straps can fold in like this. I don't think I've done a dinky video in a long time, but yes, they fold in like that so they're completely out of the way so you can use it as a clutch or something. And of course, dinkies have this gorgeous little kiss lock area in there, which don't hold anything at all hardly. Maybe some cards, but they, they, this is that's another reason why I haven't really gotten many dinkies or any before this one. I haven't kept any, and I think I'm going to keep this, but I may not because that seems to be my pattern, unfortunately. If not, I'll pass it on to somebody. <laughs> But um, this kind of takes up so much space that there's not much else you can fit in here. So that's, that's uh, why one of the reasons why I haven't really played around with dinkies much. Ox blood all in there, super soft. So yeah, here's the dinky. Stunning, stunning bag. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And this would be my classic tea rose bag that I would use to weddings, I mean to, uh, to go to weddings or date night, special occasions. Also, you should just wear it whenever. But anyway, um, I would probably use it for special occasions. Here is the other bag. This is the Peony Rogue 25. And um, I probably won't keep it after I received it. I probably, I've owned it before and I passed it on I got it at a good price or like last year sometime passed it on to a friend and I'll probably pass this on also. It's just not, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. These were shipped to me so I didn't see them in person. Had I seen it in person I probably would have picked it up with the intention of passing it on to somebody else because honestly this was 70% off at an outlet. So, uh, but it was shipped so I, I didn't, I didn't see it. But I mean I already knew kind of what Peony looked like. But um, yeah, it's probably not gonna stay. I already know that. It had a tag, the original tag and everything. It's probably not going to stay though. Stunning, but it's just, I have enough 25s and this would not be anywhere close to my favorite of all the 25s that I have, all the rows that I have, or all the coach bags that I have. So um, I'm just trying to play it. I mean, I'm trying not to collect just to be collecting. So I, this will probably go ahead and go back. 
But um, anyway, it's such a gorgeous bag, and I'm really, really happy about these two. I'm happy that somebody will get a great price on a bag because I plan on passing it on for the price I got it. Probably. So yeah, those are my two bags that I got from um from can't really see that one. Those are my three bags that I purchased recently. This one's staying for sure. And then this one possibly. But um yeah, so that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about my cousin's music, if you can hear it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. All right, y'all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay safe. And, um, you know, God bless us all. Take care. Bye.